Hi guys, welcome to my Scottish Tooth channel. This is Robin. Here's our bucket of jewelry that we're going to be going through. And uh, so y'all grab yourself something good to drink. I've got a nice hot cup of coffee. And sit back and relax. If you want to order anything under this video, all you have to do is send me an email. If you haven't done this already, send me an email at this address. Take a screenshot. Sorry, I'm moving it. MySkyWitch2 at gmail.com I need your shipping address, your YouTube name, and your full name first and last. Just those three things. And your invoice will go to the email in which you send me this information. We ship only in the U.S. Shipping's a flat rate of $5. If it's under a pound, over a pound is eight thirty and up, depending on size, weight, insurance, and all that other good stuff. And, um, what was I going to say? Oh, we invoice at the first of the month for the prior month's order, so you have all month to order and build you a bag and get the biggest bang for your buck. All right, here we go. I'm going to sit this over to the side. Maybe. I had a Christmas bag that's been sold, but I told her I would add more stuff, so let me do that. I've got um, some earrings here, Santa Claus and poinsettias and all that good stuff, a little bag. I have these. They're wooden and painted. And some little puppy um, earrings. So I'm going to put those in that $30 Christmas bag. It is a, a gallon bag that I'm filling up. Okay. It's got Christmas and other holiday, and it's got some uh, Thanksgiving and our fallish and uh, Halloween. So let's get started. I'll go ahead and start with these two items because I have them here in my hand. These are silver. This one's tarnished. This one's not, so that's what it looks untarnished. Almost has a gold tone look on that, but see, it's really like that. These are called Silver Works Pure 100. The price has been cut out, don't know why. New Metal Pure 100 consists of 10% fine silver and 90% lead-free complementary metal. So, no, it's not. Um, 925 and you'll have to polish this one up to get it to that I don't know if you can I don't know if it's worn off anyway we're going to sell those for two yep I'm not going to fret over that two dollars the next are these earrings. Now, these are porcelain. They've got a beautiful glaze on them. Kind of reminds me of that pendant we had earlier. Same kind of uh, porcelain. Sort of like the same design, too, in that it had a circle, I remember. It looked almost like a baby in a blanket, depending on how you wore it. We'll do these for two. They're very nice. I don't know if these are silver or not. Nice hooks on these. I'm just going to check them for silver because I think they are. And that's a good deal for two bucks. You get porcelain and silver. Let's see. Yep, those are silver. Should have tested them first. See that? Nice silver hooks. Porcelain earrings. And I know a little bit about clay because... And ceramics because I used to make pottery. I had a wheel. I had a. I had a. Uh, I still have it. I don't use it because I can't get to it because the garage is full. And uh, I had a wheel. I had a kiln. I had a big rolling table that would roll out clay flat. I really loved it. It was a wonderful, wonderful. The guy who taught me has passed away. 
But uh, I used to go to his shop on Saturdays, and he always helped the uh, work with the children that um, had special needs. So I enjoyed that. Let's see. $2 and silver wires. Nine two five, two dollars. I think that is cheapest I've done. Unless you've gotten a free piece of silver from me. All right, this piece right here is also metalworks, and it's enameled. It's a copper piece. That's why it looks like it does. It's on this copper colored chain. There's your extender with a nice bead. It's not going to say copper on it, but it's definitely copper. Well, we're going to make sure it's definitely copper. Let's see if it's magnetic first. Before I go shouting out my mouth. Yeah, see? All that's real co copper. This is a glass faceted black bead. We'll do that for two. So, I hope everybody's having a good day. It's a... Uh, I did manage to get in the pool and clean it again yesterday. And then by the time we got ready to go to dinner with uh, my granddaughter and my son, by the time we got out on the highway, it was pouring. Terrible. Copper. $2. And uh, poor girl got soaked coming into the restaurant because we it wasn't raining when we left and uh he didn't take an umbrella maddie and i got a little wet because he dropped us off at the door but he had to go park he's such a such a gentleman here's some little kids jewelry and i have a little bag of jewelry that um i'm gonna put that in that uh Goes in a kid's lot somebody bought. I just added to it. I know somebody was Shelly. So Shelly, that's going in your bag of kids. Children's Shelly. Okay. Let's see. I'm into keeping these right now because... Uh, you can make bookmarks and uh, spine jewelry and you can decorate junk journals and all that kind of stuff. And y'all know I'm into that. So, there you go. Okay. Here's some stuff I put out on the bust. That's a fossil lucky necklace. It's a fossil necklace. That's got a crown like juicy, but I don't know if that's a juicy necklace. White beads. With gold beads in between. You can't even tell that they're gold. And then this little necklace with the bear. And there's a pretty leaf. Closing a leaf behind there. And I'll show that to you closer. Let's do the fossil necklace first. Got these great charms. You got the number seven. The horseshoe. And the four leaf clover. Knotted. Uh, not knotted. But bead station necklace here's your fossil tag look at that very well made jewelry that's a pretty little piece we'll do that for four so what else has happened Oh, while we were riding down to go eat dinner, we passed by the place where we usually turn for um, to go to the Festival of Lights, which I've been very few times, and they've both been very special times. One time was with my mom and dad, and Daryl and I, they were elderly, you know, and couldn't walk a lot, but that's a place where you drive through, and it's got the most beautiful light shows and stuff. See that? Very cool. And then this little bear. Oh my gosh, that's 14 carat. 
14 carat and close an A. Wow, let's see what this, if this is anything. I don't see anything. Don't see anything on the chain, so let's just see if it's magnet. Yeah, it's magnetic. Let's test the bear. It says it's 14 carat. Yep, no. Now that is the close and a close and a piece. I can't even talk, y'all. And then the 14 carat little charm bear. That's so cute. Oh, I should give that to my little granddaughter. I think I will. That'd be her first little 14 carat piece. I'll have to give it to mom. She'll give it to her at the appropriate time. Okay. The next is this white beaded with gold beads in between. Now you can see the gold beads. They're all in very good condition. The gold is not worn off. We have a lobster claw class. Now the bindings here are silver. They may have been newly put on. But that's white and gold there. And we'll do this one for $3. Try to give you the best prices I can. So I hope you're enjoying the videos. I have these enameled. Very pretty. They need to be cleaned up and they'll be cleaned up before they're sent. There's the blue. And this white, and I don't know if that comes off or not. I don't think it does. I don't know it may. Got a little scratch on that. A little ding there. And then this one has some little dings. Let me see. I don't see any dings on the blue ones. The blue one. We'll do these for two. Very nice. Oh, we started a new hobby lot too, but somebody's already claimed it and we don't have anything in it yet. So that's going to be Laura's. I said you can claim it at any time. And she claimed it before I even put anything in it. So, it's $5, and uh, it's a um, quart size bag. $2. I've also said if you want me to make you one on the side that I don't show to you, it'd be a complete surprise. I'll do you one uh, for $5. So, all you have to do is say it in the comment that you want me to make you one. Here's some beaded bracelets. Little glass beads. Wait, this has got shell nuggets on it. These have little glass oval type beads. I think they're glass. Let me check them. Here's another one with a shell. This one, a lot of them have the shell nugget on it. Just laying them out so you can see them. Here's some of the blue one. And then these are all alike as, as far as design go. And this one was stuck to my arm. <laughs> so it's magnetic. Yeah, it's magnetic. But you could make it a little charm bracelet, a fun little charm bracelet. Uh, let's see. I want to test that for glass. Yes. 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 Okay, these oval ones are also glass. 
So we'll do those for $2. The whole lot. Oh, please. Oh, it's my son. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were talking about this. I'm going to put Laura's name on it. All right. Okay, I filled it up again. And this one we hadn't looked at yet. Um, it's a charm-like necklace. We have a, a crystal, a little crystal here, a teardrop style, a key, a rhinestone cross. Can't tell if that's missing or not. It may be missing there. A little crown and another cross. We'll do this for two. There's your findings, your uh, clasp. Two dollars. So that was uh, the phone had rang, right? And I had gotten off. It was my son, and he said he's got a desk on order. They have. Put him back to work at home again, which is great with the traffic, you know, as it is. And uh, so that's a blessing. Let's see. My other son still has to go in and, and uh, he has to fight the traffic, but it's not as far for him. So. Anyway, okay, now let's take a look at what we have. That's three different necklaces put together. Aren't those pretty? This necklace looks like a cooey nut and pearl with a seed bead in between. I'm not sure. Here's some bracelets. We have some bracelets. Beautiful vintage long pink beaded plastic necklace. You see how long it is, multi-stranded, that pretty cross. And then this necklace. And then of course what's down here is all kind of goody stuff. And let's get started. Okay, we'll go with these three necklaces. I like them so much all together like that. Um, these are marked these here with the barrel beads and stuff it's marked India that's all it says is India the other one doesn't have an India tag but it's the same look as you can see there and then these shell chips are absolutely beautiful they have a spring ring clasp they have a little glass bead in between, so they lay nicely. They, you know, collapse nicely. And this all together is very pretty, so I'm gonna sell it all together for $5. I have bags everywhere. Excuse me for bumping. I couldn't help it. Five dollars. Three necklaces. Oh, would y'all like to know the length on these since... Let's see. The shell one is... 18 and a half inches. This one with the black and taupe colored beads without the India tag is 17 inches. 
a little bit just shy of 17, but you know, like 16th of an inch. And then this India one that's marked India is 18 inches. And that's why they can all be layered together. All a little bit different in size. And I'm going to tuck this ruler somewhere. And I just think they look stunning together. easier on me. The next one we have is that Kukui Pearl Seed Bead Glass on a Lobster Claw Clasp. No marks. Very pretty though. Not this in Kukui. This is just, I don't know. But it's silver and it's fasted. But these here look like Kukui nuts, but I don't know that they actually are because they're so the same. So this is a nice long necklace, chunky beads, 36 inches, it's got a nice weight to it. I like that the beads, the pearls are capped, and that these have the little bead at the beginning and end, and we'll do this one for $3, very nice. Jeff said his desk may come in today, uh -huh. and for us not to move it, he'll be by to get it. Okay. Gladly. <laughs> his chair came in yesterday. I'm I'm doing a video, honey. So. I figured that out. Okay. Just want to make sure you knew. Didn't want to catch you off guard. The next one we have is this beautiful large cross silver tone necklace. Beautiful rhinestones. Here's the back. Nice chain. Silver tone chain, long chain. Lobster claw class extender with the bead. This necklace is 28 inches. We'll do that for six. Very beautiful necklace. And the chain is in very good condition. This doesn't have any uh, wear on it. Six dollars. All right. The next one we have is a beautiful long pink necklace. Here are your end caps. Let's uh, push that more onto the inside and close that. Here we go. Very pretty. So light on the neck, but long. Has a nice presence. Beautiful color with any skin tone. It's just gorgeous. I haven't seen one like this in quite a while. It's about 50 inches. We're going to do it for 10. It's lovely. Beautiful and still in good condition for a vintage piece. Very good condition. The next is a mixed metal of gold tone and silver tone. 
has a nice long extender, at least three inches with the bead on the end, lobster claw clasp. Rollo chain, there's no wear on the chain. Um, there we go. Disc, open uh, filigree like disc, and then your solid hammered look. Teardrop pendant at the end, doubled. We'll do that one for five. Oh, I had to take a break and get me some coffee. Okay. I have a nice M in red. We'll do that for a dollar. M in red. It's in excellent condition. Make a nice uh, key ring or large uh, pendant. Or it could be put on a, uh, could make it where it could be put on a backpack. All kind of things. These are two necklaces. Again, I believe these are uh, plastic. I don't believe, I know they are. But I believe they're vintage is what I'm trying to say. They feel very nice. They have a nice weight to them. We'll do those for two. We have this beautiful collar necklace for pendants. I think it's called an Omega chain. It's got a safety clasp. I don't believe it's silver, but I don't know. It's not magnetic. I didn't see any marks on it. That's why I say that. But it just inserts like a box clasp, and then you have a safety clasp. Silver tone, very good condition, very pretty. I think it goes around. I don't think it, it's extra large in size. I think it's the medium size or standard size. It's at least 18 inches. We'll do this for 10. Like I said, I couldn't find any marks on it. It's not magnetic. Even the clasp. It does have a safety clasp. I just couldn't find any marks. Let me look again. Nope, I don't see any marks. Very well made and in excellent condition. Ten dollars. All right. The next we have here is beautiful. Mother Mary, baby Jesus. It's nine two five. Nine two five this way. It's beautiful. Silver chain. 925, also marked. Somewhere on here. There we go, right there. Oh boy. Sterling, and I have it upside down, of course. So. Sterling. I thought these were marked. These end caps were marked. Yeah, it's very hard to see. You 
You can see there's marking on there. Let me loop that. And it says STG, which I think means sterling. Let's see if it's magnetic. Nothing's magnetic. The length on this is, I'm not going to test it because I know it's sterling. The vintage is 19 inches. We'll do that for 20. Nice 19 inch chain. You can take this pendant on and off and interchange it with other pendants. Oh, I used some Miss Myers peppermint dishwash to get. I had black marks all over my hand because I grabbed the marker with, at the tip end. That's another thing, reason why I took a break to clean my hands off. It's 20. The next I have is a beautiful rhinestone, uh, rhinestone no, CZ. These are CZ. Cross. Mark 925. It's hard to read. I'm going to loop it and make sure. It says CZ. It's got a maker's mark to the left that I can't make out. And the 925 is, is up top. So this part here has the 925. And I don't know that I can get it to show up. This has CZ. And this has a maker's mark. Beautiful. And it's on this box chain. With a spring ring clasp. And I believe it is stainless steel. Yes, yeah, stainless steel. Let me tell you what all that says. So stainless steel china, so it's never going to turn in your color. It's always going to be this beautiful silver, and I think it goes beautiful with this silver cross. And I'm going to hold it out back out. We'll do that for 20. Gorgeous, and let me give you a length on this chain. It is... 18 inches. Beautiful cross necklace. Next I have is this long beaded necklace. I believe this is some kind of plastic. Feels really good. It has a very smooth feel to it. It's a very long necklace. We have a lobster claw clasp. No marks. The length on this necklace is... 47 inches. We'll do that for two. Very pretty.
Here's a glitter ball bracelet with fasted um, gunmetal colored beads in between. It's a stretch. We'll do that for three dollars. It's pretty. We have some gunmetal and um, taupe, taupe color, I believe, beads, multiple, multiple glass beaded bracelets. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do those for two dollars. They'd make great spacer beads too if you're into jewelry making. But it's also very pretty. Very comfortable. You could put little charms on these. Do all kind of things. All kind of things, y'all. <laughs> it's a southern coming out in me. Can't help it. Sweet as sweet tea. I have a pretty glass and ceramic beaded bracelet. Beautiful colors. You have a little heart here at the end that says GS. And I don't know what that means. And then a little toggle clasp. We'll do $2 on that. We have a silver tone charm, heart charm, with a crown and nam. I don't know what that means. And it's got nam on the back of it, too. Nam. If you spell man backwards, it's nam. We'll do that one for two. This one's a little stretched out. It's going to go in the hobby lot. Got nice fluted beads on there. The hobby lot's being claimed by Laura. If you want me to make you one, I will. It will be in a quart bag filled up. Here's a little metal and pearl bracelet. That's a freebie. Just tell me if you want it. Yeah, it's a little magnetic, but it's still cute. It's free. We have these two little um, aluminum. They're very lightweight aluminum bracelets. We'll do those as a freebie. This is a wavy bracelet. I love that design. Waves. Don't make waves. It is magnetic. We'll do that as a freebie. How about that? That's nice. We have this mixed metal. It's got the copper and gold and brassy looking colors. The stabilizers. I like that. We'll do that one for a dollar. We have this beaded bracelet. We'll do that as a freebie.
Next one I have is a Stella and Dot. It's very pretty. It's gold tone with little rhinestones. And they're all there. Love this. With the Stella and Dot tag. We do that one for four. It's lovely. Four. Okay. Oh, that's it. We're going to end it on that, guys. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and notification bell if you want to know when we're going to put up a new video. And share this video with your friends who love jewelry. We're trying to grow the channel. And uh, I think I'm going to set a new goal of 2,000. Once I hit 2,000, we'll have a giveaway. So that's it. And uh, y'all have a blessed day. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.